So I'm here with uh, Abdul Hassan, and we are talking today with Brian Legro. He's one of the brewers over at uh, the Goose Island Fulton Street uh, Brewery over here. <laughs> Like a, a really nice crisp gold going on in here, um, mm -hmm. which I'm sure a lot of people aren't used to having coffee ales, unless of course they've tried the one from Arcade Brewing, which sure. uh, they did, which was um, that you know that was that was very unique. Uh, their, their pale ale mm -hmm. um, was very different from what many people did, and uh, and I like you know I like this new style. It's light, but you still get those exactly. coffee blends in there, which is really cool. Um, yeah, let's try it out. I mean, already, since off the nose, you get so much coffee just mm -hmm. kind of going on in there. I mean, for everybody who's watching this, if you had smell of vision Wow. That, <laughs> I, you know, I mean, because you look at the color and you don't expect exactly that much coffee flavor. Um, how is it? I mean, because I know based on different kind of brewing processes, the coffee is added at different points. Mm -hmm. and cold press is added into exactly. later after the brewing process, maybe into the barrel with the beer. Um, what's the, what, what, how was the coffee added into this beer? Uh, well, kind of like everybody does a dry hop, or we oh. do we do a dry coffee, That's I guess I you saying. could say. Yeah. Not, not the most technical, but no. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we let it sit uh, on coffee for about two, two to three days, yeah. um, tasting it along the way, and um, get an incredible, no, incredible coffee funny. aroma. This I mean, great. on a blind taste test, you'd probably think you were drinking a porter or a stout. Yeah, yeah and so, I think you probably get you get the same reaction when you cold press coffee. Mm -hmm. Like you lose a lot of bitterness, and I think dry hopping is probably essentially the same thing. Yep. Um, yeah, no, this is great. This is really clean. Yeah. And just and just the amount of coffee, just you get everything great about coffee. Yeah. In a beer. You know, you don't need our ice cubes. <laughs> yeah, you know, in the morning, I'm not having my coffee anymore. That's it. I'm having my Goose yeah. Island there you go. Fulton Street yeah, coffee no. ale. <laughs> exactly. Uh, this is this is outstanding. Uh, you guys, like I said, you hit it on the dot again. But I think what a lot of the viewers are really trying to figure out here is the Bourbon County. There's a lot of people out there that I'm sure would love to know. First of all, why you guys decided to do it? I mean, you, you mm -hmm. came out with the, the Bourbon County before almost anyone else. I mean, you were right. one, you were if not the first, one of the first um, barrel age stout you know brands out Correct. there. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people that are wondering what inspired you to do that. Um, why you you continue to, to to come out with different styles and um, what your secrets were behind it. <laughs> Well, I don't know if there are too many secrets. Uh, I think that, you know, John Hall starting a successful brand in Goose Island, I think uh, kind of stumbling across or coming up with the idea to do BCS uh, was just kind of in line with that and uh, a lot of the good beers that we do. Probably one of the reasons behind doing different flavors every year is that, you know, the flavors with bourbon and that fall into BCS, chocolate, coffee, roast, um, that really pairs well with a lot of different foods, whether it's savory like a barbecue or a big piece of chocolate cake. Um, so we kind of want to showcase that, you know, these flavors continue to go well, not just with coffee and vanilla, but uh, maybe we can bring some fruit into it or some spice uh, and some different flavors. So I mean, so uh, you're saying that the secret was sugar and spice and everything, everything nice. nice. <laughs> yeah, even though, even though the beer might be a little mean with the, the alcohol, but... I mean, it seems that coconut is consistent. Mm -hmm. um, is that all? You know, to your knowledge, is that always going to be the case, or um, you know, and, uh, I know y'all change it up. The first year you did it by roasty coconut, then you do sure. coconut water. Coconut water, yeah. yeah. So um, you know, why did the decision to change from you know coconut um, from coconut flake to the mm -hmm. roasted to water? Like, uh, you saw better results, or you know, or, you know what was the the reason for the change. I would imagine that it's just a way to showcase that flavor in a different way. Um, like you said, it was uh, this past year we did use coconut water. The previous year was roasted coconut. So 
Um, kind of take that roast flavor out, mm -hmm. uh, maybe let the coconut showcase a little bit better because there's plenty of roast yeah. in the Bourbon County. Uh, but uh, coming up, um, we won't have coconut in one, uh, in one of the new proprietors oh. uh, and vanilla vanilla may be disappearing as well. So we'll oh, probably really? have this coming year two different two different flavors in addition to okay. regular BCS, um, Bourbon County, or uh, coffee, and the uh, probably one here. Well, let me ask you a question. Um, I've heard that the boil for Bourbon County Stout is three hours. It, it can be three to, three to four hours. So what, what, what's the, um, the chemistry behind that? What's the reason to have such a long boil. I mean, this. I'm, you know, I'm a home brewer, and anything sure. over 90 minutes, I just. <laughs> I'm like, why am I doing this? Yeah. So, um, you know, and I know y'all are at a much larger scale, but mm -hmm. what's some of, you know, what what are the results you're getting when you brew, when you boil a wort for 90 minutes, three hours? Well, one of the main things it does is it boils down and creates more of a concentrated liquid, so it becomes more viscous. So anybody that's had Bourbon County knows. Yeah. Got a very motor, slick motor oil, motor oil yeah. characteristic, um, and as a result of that, um, it raises the amount of sugar available and therefore uh, the potential alcohol created by the yeast. So we're uh, thickening, thickening it down, creating a more of a mouthfeel, and adding to the alcohol as well. So uh, yeah, why don't we why don't we try this out? I'm, I'm really excited to see uh, what we're going to get out of this. Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. This is uh, the Bourbon County Stout, which has been aged for two years in Templeton Rye Barrels. Yeah. So this is a, a you know tap tap room exclusive. You can only get it at this facility at Fulton Wood. So give it a taste. Yeah. Good. And it doesn't disappoint. Never. Very creamy, <laughs> yeah. just like I was talking about earlier. Yeah. Extraordinarily creamy. Chocolate um, that just goes on, very lasting. Oh, yeah. That rye barrel kind of comes in subtly, not overpowering. You know. One of the first things I noticed is um, you don't get a lot of the vanilla character you typically do of bourbon barrel aged beers. Um, a lot more dark chocolate, uh, dark fruits uh, in the beginning, maybe some uh, blueberry, uh, some blackberries. Um, it, it's really nice. I definitely don't miss the vanilla character as much as I do like that. Um, it's, it's unique. It's, it's, it's really good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right. The, the vanilla is is not really there, um, which you get a lot of, of course, with bourbon barrels. Uh, mm -hmm. But um, I think the rye goes extremely well. It's like hand in hand with this. It's it's uh, it's incredible. You know, you guys did a great great job. What you know. Why did you guys decide to do this? I think this uh, might have just been a barrel that maybe got forgot about or yeah. set aside, <laughs> not quite on accident, and um, just going through maybe recently that they just stumbled across it, tasted it, and thought that yeah. this, this needs to be in a keg. Well, if you guys have any sure. more barrels that you just kind of stumbled upon, I got my, you know, I had to bring a truck over. Not a problem. I'll, I'll, I'll take it off your hands. No I worries. Guess. You might have to bring your own forklift, though. Yeah. <laughs> I have one of those, actually. I'm just kidding, I don't. <laughs> you can rent one, maybe. I can rent. What, what do you guys see in your future? Well, I think that there's definitely a lot of things that we can do. I uh, know over at the, the Barrel Warehouse, we've got uh, a few fooders that we're prepping and trying to figure out what we want to do with them. Uh, we've also got six punchins, a uh, big five... Uh, I believe it's five barrel um, casts that we got from France that we're trying to oh, trying nice. to figure out what kind of sour stuff we want to do. So um, definitely, I think there's going to be some more innovation on the sour sour front for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping for a new sister. Okay. I don't know. It, could, it yeah. could happen with a lot of the stuff that we have over at the Barrel Warehouse, yeah. but um, I don't know. I think you'll continue to see different flavors in BCS throughout the years, uh, aside from you know the three basic ones. Um, and continue to do new beers, um, whether it's going to be a pale coffee beer or a blue line uh, pilsner that we got coming out. Um, I'd, it's anybody's guess, really. Yeah. 
but uh, there's definitely a lot of opportunity and a lot of things that you can do. Well, Brian, thank you again. I appreciate you sitting down with us. Uh, the beers are outstanding. Uh, like I said, the Goose Fulton, uh, Fulton Street Coffee Ale is now out. Please go out there, try it. You're going to love it. I'm telling you, it's outstanding. Get your, you know, get over here, get to the tap room. You're going to enjoy it. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff to see in here. And uh, you guys are really just at the frontier. I mean, no joke. Goose Island, this is this is Chicago right here. This mm -hmm. is where it all started. And I love it. Um, for my subscribers out there, uh, please stay tuned. We're going to be having a bunch of other great videos coming out. And uh, you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter. Well, we just recently got Instagram. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, it's great to have good beers out there. Oh, I appreciate yeah. it. Hey, you guys, cheers. Cheers to good beer. Cheers, guys. Cheers.